One of the things that I love to do is try to help encourage individuals who struggle with substance use disorder or who struggle with some type of criminal lifestyle. Not only have I lived those lifestyles, my passion and everything is to try to help individuals in, a, in that same field. Um, so I go to different facilities and it doesn't matter what particular facility it is. Uh, we go into the facility and we try to teach the individuals how to make minor adjustments that are necessary for them so they can change and live a productive lifestyle after incarceration and or rehabilitation. The Minor Adjustments Program is an eight-week course and we come into the facilities one day a week, preferably one day a week, and we come to halfway houses, drug rehabs, prisons, um, um, sober living houses, recovery houses, wherever we try to come to salvation armies, um, drug court uh, facilities. You can go to our, our website, minoradjustments.org, and see in the news tab, and you can see all the places we've been blessed, thanks, thanks to God, to be able to go around and do these things. The minor adjustments mission statement is minor adjustments is dedicated to preventing and reducing crimes, and our primary purpose is to teach men or women how to make the minor adjustments that are necessary in their lives which will allow them to obtain and maintain a productive lifestyle after incarceration and or rehabilitation our motto is anywhere but backwards that's what we teach the individuals to get focused on going anywhere but backwards Two key words in that mission statements are to obtain and to maintain. The reason why those two words are very important is because to attain your freedom is actually easy. The challenge is to maintain it. Why do I say that? When a person gets sentenced for a crime they have committed, they are sentenced to a particular time that they have to do. Now, even if they do that whole time that the judge sentenced them to, one day they will actually be released. That's why to attain your freedom is actually the easy part. You know when you're going to go home. The challenge is to maintain the freedom when you first obtain it. When I spent 22 years of my life in and out of drug and rehabilitation centers, I spent a total of 15 years collectively going back and forth to prison. And I noticed that I will commit crime, go to prison, and come home. That wasn't the problem. I will go right back to prison soon after. So I discovered that the minor adjustments that I had to make was not trying to get out of jail. The minor adjustment that I had to make was staying out of jail. There's a lot of different areas that I use or subject topics that I will use during the eight weeks. We will go through a particular, the first session, for instance, is the introduction. Week one, we will have an introduction. What is the introduction? The introduction will be basically us discussing with the individuals what we will be doing, how we would do it, if there will be breaks during the session, what the facilitator or the instructor will teach them, and all that. Make sure everybody has their particular books. Make sure everybody is signed in. The instruction introduction stage of the minor adjustments program is the week one. I want them to feel like they are somebody. Yes, I am aware that I'm coming into a place where people are struggling with drugs. Yes, I am aware I'm coming into a place where people have committed a lot of crimes. Yes, I am aware of all of those things, but still those individuals are people. So when the individuals come into our program, we want to shake their hand and say anywhere but backwards. And the purpose of us doing that, meaning the facilitator or the instructors, is to let the individuals know, although we are coming into this institution to teach you some life lessons, we understand that you, number one, are a person. We come into facilities that have already have the individuals. So if you know somebody who have individuals in a facility, drug halfway house, uh, 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 halfway house rehabs, prisons, halfway houses, any type of places like that where you already have the individuals, we come in one day a week or we may do it over the weekend depending on the distance that we may have to travel. Recently, before we had to go into this quarantine, we was in um, 
Pittsburgh. I'm sorry. We was in Ohio. So what we did was when we went to Ohio, being as though we can't come from New Jersey to Ohio one day a week, we took the course and we condensed it and we finished the course, which is an eight-week course. You have to attend at least six classes. We gave the individual six classes during the weekend. So if you have a place where it's too far from us, we can co coordinate with the directors and everybody who has the power to make decisions and we can make the minor adjustments program fit into your situation and to your program no matter what it is. Remember, our focus is to help the individuals. Our motto is anywhere but backwards. We want to come into these facilities and we want to let individuals know that you will get your freedom again. But once you obtain your freedom, you must do everything that you have to do in your power to stay out. When you are addicted to some substance use disorder, you will obtain your sobriety again. But that is not the challenge. To obtain your sobriety is the easy part. The challenge is to maintain it. The Minor Adjustments Program mission statement is Minor Adjustments is dedicated to preventing and reducing crime. Our primary purpose is to teach men or women how to make the minor adjustments that are necessary for their lives. The reason why I put the first session as an introduction is because when you're trying to move or change or make adjustments from one lifestyle to the next, in order for you to make minor adjustments, the first session we teach on is introduction. The introduction is simply this. When you're trying to make minor adjustments or trying to shift your life or trying to change your life from the life you've been living for years to something new, the new you have to introduce themselves to the old you. The new you will have to introduce yourself to the old you. Why? Because the old you functioning off the old mindset. The old you thinking about you're in this stage. But the new you is trying to transition or make adjustments to go into something greater. So the reason why I started off the first session as you must have an introduction is because the new you will have to introduce themselves to the old you. The old you you will keep trying to get you to go down those same paths that keep leading to you in bondage to drugs. The old you will keep leading you down that same path that keep leading to you going and getting incarcerated. So why do I teach about an introduction? Because in order for you to make the minor adjustment from one bad lifestyle to the next, you must have an introduction. The new you must introduce themselves to the old you. Remember Jay-Z had a song. I don't know what the name of the album or the song was at all. But I remember that the song came on and the song said, please allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is, watch this. Why did he have to reintroduce himself if everybody already knew who he was? The reason why Jay-Z had to reintroduce himself is because everybody only knew him of the person he used to be. He had made the change from one person to the next. So he came on and he says, please allow me to reintroduce myself. He had to have an introduction with the old Jay-Z. The new Jay-Z made an introduction to the old Jay-Z. And after he made the introduction to himself, he had to tell the world, please allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is because you must have an introduction. Session one is you must have an introduction. The new you must introduce themselves to the old you. Please allow me to reintroduce myself. When you trying to make minor adjustments and move from one stage to the next, move from one level to the next, move from one grace to the next, move from one grace, one faith, one level to the next, you must have an introduction. The new you must introduce themselves to the old Jew. Jay-Z said, please allow me to reintroduce myself. The reason why he had to have an introduction is because people probably seen him and was 
associating him with his old lifestyle, but he was no longer that individual. So what did Jay-Z have to do? He had to have an introduction. The new you must introduce themselves to the old you. When you make the introduction to the old you and tell the old you, get out of the way, I'm going forward, I'm going anywhere but backwards. You must have an introduction. That's week one. If you know anybody struggling with any substance use disorder, if you know anybody in your family and you love them and they're struggling with a criminal lifestyle, introduce them to the Minor Adjustments Program. It is a very unique program. It is not one of the programs that everybody in our world have mastered. This program is a new program and this is something that we try to be client-centered. We try to focus on teaching the individuals first, number one, that they are somebody. The first thing that we want individuals to understand is that they are somebody. The reason why I'm very passionate about the Minor Adjustments Program, not simply because it's my program, but I'm not telling you something that I read in the book. I'm telling you something that I live with my life and everything that I say, I can back it up because I have the evidence of me going from one place to the next, going from one level to the next. And every step that I took, I documented it. When I <laughs> documented every step that I took, I put it in a book form. After I put it in the book form, I created a format for it to be a program. After I created the format for it to be a program, I now take this program to help individuals who was in the same situation as me. I don't care where you are or what we have to do. We just want to tell you that you need to make some minor adjustments and you have to be willing to go anywhere but back. Backwards. I never knew how powerful the phrase anywhere but backwards will be in my life. I didn't understand it to the magnitude that I understand it now. Not only am I not willing to go back to drugs, not only am I not willing to go back to prison, I also ain't willing to go back to slavery either. Anywhere but backwards. We are no longer in that state of being on drugs. I am no longer in the state of being incarcerated. And I definitely ain't in the state of being treated like a slave. Anywhere but backwards is more important to me than you may believe. Minor adjustments. And our motto is anywhere <laughs> but backwards. Listen, we do an eight-week course. I'm about to do eight-week course online. Anybody you know struggling with any type of substance use disorder or criminal lifestyle and you really love them. I'm going to start an eight-week course online. Have them come to the website. Have them come to the Facebook lives. I'm going to be doing it, and I ain't charging you anything. I'm going to give you all the knowledge that I have because I'm tired of seeing individuals going back, hurting their families, going back, hurting their loved ones, going back, more importantly, hurting themselves and dying. So if you care about them, just simply direct them to the Minor Adjustments Facebook page, and I will be putting the information out there when I will be doing these classes online and they can tune in and get the information if they need the book all they got to do is inbox me i'll give them a book online for free i don't need nothing i just simply want to help individuals minor adjustments is dedicated to preventing and reducing crime and our primary purpose is to teach men or women how to make the necessary adjustments in their life primary mean main goal our primary purpose our main goal is to teach individuals about not going back and forth to drugs or back and forth to prison. This is simply an introduction or a synopsis of the Minor Adjustments Program. Again, if you know anybody who is struggling with some substance use disorder or you would like to have us bring the program to your facility, let your director know. We'll come in there. I mean, we go everywhere. You can go to minoradjustments.org, look on the In the News tab, and you can see all the places that I've been blessed to go take this program. Again, you can call us at 888-373-9524. You can email us at minoradjustments2013 at gmail.com or you can always go to Facebook. You can go on Instagram, Minor Adjustments. Week one is an introduction. Week two, purpose. Week three, surrender. Week four, visualize. Week five, you must have endurance. Week six, 
minor adjustments. Week seven, stay humble. Week eight, living victorious. After we go through the eight weeks, the people we deal with must attempt, must attend at least six weeks of the eight weeks in order to be successful, in order to receive the certificate and the braces at the graduation. Yes. My wife liked to play the graduation song that they play in schools. Now, granted, a lot of these graduations aren't people who graduating from school. We be in halfway house, drug programs, rehabs, and prisons, but she still played that music. If you will ever see the people's faces when they're coming down that aisle to that music to get the certificates from the minor adjustment program. What that does for my wife and I, I cannot explain it. The reason why we don't show those videos because of confidentialities of the facilities that we go to. But I got them all the time. And whenever I'm having a bad day, I just hit play. And when I see a man or a woman's face light up from something that God has placed on my life to do, no matter if the devil in hell tried to make me feel down, it can't do nothing about the joy I feel to see that my life has turned around and made minor adjustments. And now I'm helping other individuals. Again, my name is Michael Mickey Williams Jr. And I run the Minor Adjustments Program. If you would like to have the Minor Adjustments Program at your facility, at your place, or have individuals that you think would be benefit from the Minor Adjustments Program, connect them to us or you connect with us. And again, Minor Adjustments is dedicated to preventing and reducing crimes. Our primary purpose is to teach men or women how to make the minor adjustments that are necessary in their lives which will allow them to obtain and maintain a productive lifestyle after incarceration and or rehabilitation. Our motto is anywhere but backwards. To God be the glory. Sign up for minor adjustments today.